All right, moment of truth here. The steps should be over 9,000 once this synchronizes. And, okay, so I'm from the ring to the phone to the cloud, back to the phone and, come on, just a little bit more. Okay, if the steps are not over 9,000, I don't know what is wrong with the ring. Whoa, okay. I was thinking maybe 10. Let's compare that to the Aura Ring. Now this is the Gen 2, but when I've compared Gen 2 versus Generation 3, they count almost the identical amount of steps. So now my Aura Ring is talking to the phone. There we go. Oh, that was a quick synchronization. 9,000 steps, wow. Interesting. Yeah, there's the model Heritage Black, Generation 2.0. Ready to score, blah, blah, blah. But if I go back to Circular, then we go to Activity Analysis, Energy Score, 78. Six hours and 24 minutes of activity. Nice, VO2 max. And then if we go back and compare activity on Aura, score of 77. So 77 versus, what was this one? 78, that's pretty comparable. But for some reason, the step count is really high. That doesn't make any sense. Let's check average heart rate. 68 resting heart rate and circular. HR max 125, resting heart rate 70. So 70 versus 68, that's pretty close. Looks like the French are giving Aura something to think about. Hmm. Now keep in mind, this is the first production model by Circular, whereas, you know, we're in Generation 3. Not we, they. They don't work for either Circular or the Aura Ring, but, hmm. Sleep analysis, 75. And there's the nap detected, nap start, nap end. Very nice. All right, that's all for now.